What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are headed down to Waco. Three hour drive ahead of us. We're fishing a kayak tournament. Let's go. I mean this truck is loaded with the Chick-fil-A, the tackle. We got the trailer behind us with the kayak and the rooftop tent. We're camping out at the campsite right next to the ramp the night ahead of time. Sounds like a lot of folks are already down there. I don't know if they're pre-fishing, but they're at least grilling and having a good time. Wish I was there. I had to get some work done on the truck today because we're also taking the bass boat out for a three-day send after this kayak tournament as soon as I get back up from Waco. So subscribe to the channel if you're into the bass fishing coast. Well, we're on the way. We're listening to the captain's meeting and we're hitting a little bit of rain. Continue on to I-35 South. Ooh, we made it to the city. All right, y'all, we're in Waco and check it out. A Cabela's, man, first stop. I want to grab one thing before we get to the campsite, set up tent. Uh, by the way, check us out. Y'all haven't seen it yet. We got the kayak right here in the back, tied down. We got the roof nest. We're gonna bust it out. We're camping over here. Last chance, y'all. <laughs> if you want to get down here and grab a kayak, you can hit this tourney with us tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, we kind of got what we came here for. I'm stoked we stopped at Cabela's as the first pit stop in Waco. Didn't even know there was one right here. Let's get to the campground, man. We got a tent to set up. Woo! First glimpse at Lake Waco. That has got me excited. This place is packed. Where's my lot? I think I got the last one available, too. Like, literally, this place is full. Nobody told me the boys were going to be out here. Check them out, y'all. We got, I mean, a family of 10. Let's go. Look at this weather. Literally the last campground in the place. I am the only tent. Everyone is in RVs. This is funny. There you go. About five minutes maybe. We out here. Let's go. Fire pit, grill. I haven't met the neighbors yet. Nice boat though. The tree, the power supply. So we booked a spot with power. I think it's got water too. Oh yeah, 28 bucks to get this lot. Five stars, would recommend campsite 15 over here at Spiegelville Park. We are right next to the ramp, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and maybe rig up a couple things, but we're getting ready for tomorrow. So I'm gonna try and get some sleep, wake up at roughly 5, 5.30, and we are gonna get this thing started. Look who joined us on the campsite. What's going on? Can y'all even see him? Look, I mean, Oh, look at the little Bambi over there. Wow. Do y'all think I have something? The wind's picked up, and I'm starting to see some lightning, so I'm making the last minute decision to put the rain cover on. So it just folds up and normally stays up top. That way you can have it a little bit more open. You wanna talk about spacious? It's got it. This strobe strip comes installed with the tent. You just plug a USB into it and I can adjust it. So I can turn it all the way down. You can dim it. You can even turn it all the way off. I just got the essentials, man. We got the toothbrush, we got the water. I got the power routed in here, charging the watch for tomorrow. I've just got the sleeping bag unfolded as my topper. Little blanket, I might not even use it, man. It's, uh, it's like 75 degrees out right now, and I got this cool breeze coming in here at the moment until it maybe starts raining. I might put that up, but this is just mesh, and so I got some airflow coming in here. There we go, so as you guys saw, we set up that rain cover. So this would normally just be open right here, and you'd have uh, free range to the stars at night, and it's still clear. So once we turn all these lights off, I'll be able to see the stars, but we got this cover for the rain, so. Quick run through the tent, but I will catch y'all in the morning at launch, 6 a.m. All right, y'all, 6 a.m. So it's gonna be tight getting this boat in the water. We're just coming up to Reynolds Creek Park. I chose to go a little bit further north than uh, Spiegel Park, just to see if we could find a little bit less boat and kayak traffic, but there's a handful of boats over here too, which is fine. I don't see, I see one or two kayaks. So uh, this is a nice little cove in between two points. Also, it looks like I can cut across pretty good to a few good looking spots across the lake uh, to the north side, kind of close to the dam, but no, I don't really want to, I don't really care to fish the dam, so. I was gonna say I don't have one sir. I was, I was gonna see is it just a charge a flat fee gotta grab our day pass Got it. All right, y'all let's see what we can put together out here slightly later start than the last tourney which was my first ever We're still getting used to these things. It's 630 right now So I could literally be casting if I was in the water, but luckily we're launching much closer to what looks good right off the bat so we don't have to really travel far. I don't have any electronics. This is probably my last tournament without a graph on this thing. Y'all, I'm gonna get one. I think it's like inches right here. Oh yeah, 
pretty daggum shallow. I might cut across, that rock looks so good. In fact, I think we're gonna do that. The Red Bulls, let's go baby, come on, look at this weather. Thinking about cutting across to all this uh, riprap over here, I see a lot of boats fishing it, but then I was just leaving this point right off the ramp and there's a couple that's fishing and she just caught a uh, fish off the timber, so. Woo, we got some taper and sand, some rock. I'm ready to cast the crank, man. We got a couple boats working the bank here and uh, there's some timber a little further along. So as we work this down, we can switch things up if we have to. Um, but there was just two, there was a couple people working the timber back there and I didn't want to just cut them off and jump in front of them. They were on a boat, so they're going to be able to work it fast and I'd just be fishing right behind them, throwing the same stuff. So I chose to jump across the lake. It looked like a short stroll. Ended up being like a 15 minute deal. You know, we're going three and a half miles an hour. So we're about to make the first cast. It's 6.53. I put myself at a 23 minute disadvantage, but that's life. <laughs> Let's start casting. Good, y'all getting any? Oh, there you go. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, y'all. What happens next is frustrating, and I'm going to try and summarize it briefly, but it's going to take a moment to explain. So, we can take that long trek to get across the lake. We start casting the crank up against the rock, make it to our first point leading into a cove. Boom! Big fish hits on the crankbait. I'm just cranking it. Comes up out of the water, looks to be between three and five pounds. He's a ways away at this point. Like, I bombed that cast, okay? We get him close to the boat, he ducks. He goes straight under, he's pulling us down. I loosen the drag, and we're fighting this thing for almost 45 seconds. There's no timber below us, it's just rock. It's perfect, wide open, and then boom. No weight on the hook. You would see this footage, but this is why I'm on the camera. The clip got deleted, and like the five minutes leading up to it. Live and learn. In the next kayak tournament, I have two GoPros rolling the whole day. We don't miss anything, but this is kind of a part of being a fishing YouTuber. Sometimes you lose uh, valuable footage. But anyways, we did not land the fish. We did not get the footage. Let's get back to the video. <sighs> Guys, that was a good one. Fudge. That, that's frustrating. Frustrating. There we go. There we go. Fish number two. Fish number two. Tighten the drag. Come on. Wow, come on. We lose a three to four pounder and we get one that's not even gonna cut 12 inches. Oh boy, it's one of them mornings. Okay, I got excited there for a second. That was probably eight incher. Oh, well, that's two fish. None that count on the board. Oh, there we go. There we go. Another good one. Come on. Come on. Here we go. That's what we need. Spot lock. I don't know if this is a bass the way it's shaking its head. All right, y'all, 13 inches, but uh, I forgot my marker pulled up my camera roll. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. All right, first scoreable fish, 13 inches. That's not gonna get us too far, but this might. What is this? Come on, that's a tree pounder. <laughs> Hold on, I don't want this one to come off too like that big, and that would be devastating. There we go. Get that quick release, y'all. Practice catch and release, especially with the big ones. Oh, oh, got him, got him, got him. Come on, Largy. Come on, Largy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. A little bit bigger. Spot lock. Come on. Be like 14 or 15 inches at least. Come on, we need you for points. I think it's going to go 14 or something. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's a 13.75 right there. Nope, 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 Well, okay, well, we got the measurement. Oh, wow, I didn't even see that side of him. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, I would've let you go ASAP. That crank got him good, y'all. Okay, some fish. Let's go. He was up on the bank, boy. He was like right there on the bank. I could've caught him with a frog. Oh, on again, on again. Lots of timber right here. 
I don't think this one's gonna go for 12. Oh no, what is up with these? I swear to goodness. I swear to goodness. It's like treble hooks don't work anymore. What is going on? We got all the barbs. I mean, that one might not have gone. That one might not have gone 12. After missing a handful, I need some points, dude. Oh, wow. If it ain't a bass, it's timber right here, though. I like this spot. I like this spot. Nope. Love it when a plan comes together. Snagged. One thing with crankbaits is you don't want to drive the hook further into these trees and stuff, so you just you have to give it some slack. Sometimes it'll float to the surface. Yep, there we go. One more cast since I'm over here, and then we're going to work our way back in that cove. I haven't thrown this guy in a long time. It's a Yozuri, like one knocker, good just walking stick bait here. By the way, that's a two to five foot diver. Sexy shad, basically. Guggen squad banger that I've been catching him on today. We're just gonna switch it up for a minute. All right, we're gonna put this down. If we see some top, if we see any blow ups, I'll just cast this right to it on the fly. Nice. Any big ones so far? Dude, the first thing I did was drop a like three to four pounder. I'm like, oh boy. Dude, mine came up out of the water. He took me under the boat. I, I mean, I thought I had him in the bag, but he came off about 45 seconds in. I was bummed. Well, I threw the top water along that bank. Now I'm cranking. This rock looks so good, but I'm thinking so far, they're just hanging out off these, these points, man, right there out by the deep water. I'm, I might hit these trees, but I'm just gonna give this a few quick casts and then I think I'm gonna work to that next point based on what they're telling me this morning. Hmm, taking notes, taking notes. If I was smart, I'd probably just go straight to that next point, but look at how far down the water is right now. I think the lake, it said like minus five feet maybe on like the Texas Parks and Wildlife when I was scoping out the fishing report. All right, this spot is not convincing me to stay. Let's go ahead and do an eight o'clock update real fast. Let me refresh this leaderboard. I'm sure people have already got their limit, man. The fish are biting, so. We were definitely unlucky with that big and don't make me waste too much time doing this i got a good point to fish here i'll try and do like an hourly update oh no connection to server failed come on might be tough to even log catches then that means some people probably have caught some fish that haven't even been able to log them if the connection's no good all right y'all i'm backtracking a little bit and as i do that i'm retying doing another uni knot here just making sure my line stays good it felt a little frayed so we're gonna hit some more of these points and uh, there's more rock this direction than behind me there's a couple other boats in front of me too i didn't want to cut off so i'm just Working my way back and gonna fish further the direction I started from, so let's go. Oh, look at them go wild out there. Holy smokes. White bass are going crazy. Oh, fish on. He ain't gonna measure. Oh my gosh. First bite we've had in a minute, but that's not what we need. There you go, bud. How y'all doing? Man, I've caught maybe four, but uh, only one sizable one, so nothing crazy. Good luck, man. Y'all found him now? Crappie biting? Right through the hole, yes sir, on this one. There you go, don't tell me that's a big bass. I need that one. <laughs> Got the guys over here, the gentlemen, hitting the crappie, boys. Oh no, I got snagged on somebody's fishing line. Come on. Oh, nice. The whole setup we just lost. You've got to be kidding. Oh, frick. Let's drop the old bandito bug down in there then. <sighs> Same here. I had first one of the morning, man. Same here. You know how it goes. Hey, yeah, same to you. There we go. Yep, somebody's already got five plus an extra for almost 80 inches. Second point's at about 47 inches. Where are we at? I don't even see our name. We are. Oh, maybe our catch isn't verified yet. Justin is getting on them, boys. 80 inches already right here to start the morning at 839. The leaderboard just updated. Wishing I had that big one now. That could have been 20 inches, and then you're talking about 13 plus the 12 or whatever it was. So we'd be we'd be doing all right, but 41 fish logged. If you average it out with the anglers, you know, everyone's caught like 1.3 to like 1.5 fish. So we're not looking too bad with our two so far. Got him. There we go. Just switched it up to the micro swim bait. Please be a bass. <laughs> we could really use a bass right now. Please be 12 inches too. Oh, I don't think it's gonna cut it, boys. I don't think it's gonna cut it. But if we can get some numbers, that's all right. What is that, eight inches? Oh boy. I got two so far, so two scoreable. So, how about y'all? All right, rock and roll. Good luck, man. One hour later. 
One hour later. All right, y'all, it's time to switch things up. It's 10 a.m. We are making a trek across the lake. We're gonna hit some timber. We're gonna start flipping. We're gonna switch things up. The sun is starting to shine. The kayak is moving at turtle speed, y'all. We're going 3.1 miles an hour across this thing. She's loaded down. Sometimes she can hit four miles an hour. Not today. I mean, I'm sitting halfway down the pack, but uh, could easily just keep losing places if I don't start getting the bites. So, let's see if we can find these fish over here. Just caught one. Pretty sure that was off camera. He didn't measure. He was 10 inches, but we're up to about seven fish. That was as soon as we made the move. Uh, I was going to flip these trees. Turns out they're in friggin' a foot of water. Oh! Yeah, everything I was just fishing, it says it was eight feet, but you got to remember this thing is like five feet down. So yeah, about three feet. Some deeper water over here though. This timber up coming up next. I'm going to try and flip some trees because it's getting to the point where they've slowed down on the crankbait. Didn't make it down, so he just went somewhere local. Oh, there we go. Got my first fish in a while. Oh, he just came off. Oh, he just came off. That was probably, that one was good enough for points. Gosh dang it. Yep, I'm cranking the trees now though. The fish have been dodging us. I'm gonna switch out the battery in the old town. I run a 50 amp hour battery. Most guys are running 100 amp hours. And so last tournament, this thing died on me halfway through the day. So today I brought two, but I left one in the truck just to save weight. So I'm about to go grab it now that I've made my way back to the ramp. New heavier battery. Good luck to you guys. You Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. At least there's something. Golly, the first bit of trees I find with a little bit of depth. All right, we're gonna find one here. We're, we're still in this, you know what I mean? We've got two fish. You, well, if I start to find a couple on these trees, it could be lights out. You can make a comeback very quick if you find where they're at. And I've seen almost everybody, it, it, it looks to me, just fishing shallow, right? Um, so a graph is absolutely mandatory because if there's a nice drop off and maybe there's some fish holding on it I just don't even know I'm going over it. You know what I mean? I'm just kind of cruising along the rock who knows what I'm seeing under underwater electronics are Coming to these tournament videos very soon. By the way, there's another tournament coming up maybe next month uh, And I'm probably gonna look for more but for sure There's like another one next month. You guys have been digging these videos based on well uh, video based on my first one I just posted recently and uh, so I, I definitely want to keep cranking these out. It's a lot of fun. Oh, another fish comes off. Wow. It is 123. That was my first fish in a while. I've said that on like my last two fish on the hook as well. That would have been the fifth measurable fish. That one looked like it was probably, it was about 12. I don't know what it was. It wasn't big, but wowzers slacking today the uh, spinner bait i can't work quite as fast this is a half ounce so i can really like rip this in the shallow water and now uh, what happened on that last one is i really didn't set the hook very much because i was kind of moving and moving a little bit i should have set the hook after it was already on but i thought i had it pinned pretty good because it was head shaking so my mistake got him got him got him come on come on all I need you to do is be 12 inches, and I don't think you are, but that's okay. We got one. Oh my goodness. He's 11. Get out of this boat. He felt good right off the bat. He just turned on it. All right, y'all. It's 153. I just set a half hour alarm until I need to get all the way back to the place I launched at to then drive uh, 20 minutes to get to the awards or the weigh-in, essentially. So... I don't have a whole lot of time left to fish, but I found out the chatterbait is hitting. I missed one as soon as we tied it on, and then I caught an 11 incher, and you need to have it 12 to score. Never in your life do you want to catch a 12 inch bass until you need it for tourney day, boys. We've got two scoreable fish. I know we can get three in half an hour. It's a matter of finding them. Wish us luck for this last half an hour. We can pull through, and we can still get top five if we hustle, but we have to kick some butt, man. We are, we are, we're down there right now. Even the top place in anglers had some smaller teen size fish in their top five. So if we get one good one and a couple decent ones, we, we could be in contention for this thing. So less talk, more chatterbait. That was the last fish, by the way, <laughs> the last bite. Oh, wow, we went back into the awards 
And uh, Terry, shout out to the winner right here. It took uh, almost 90 inches to win this thing. So, solid bag. And uh, from sixth place down, it had under 80 inches. So the top five or six folks had about 80 inches. Man, you saw fish came off on us, right? We should have at least had 60 inches, but we're down there in the bottom half of the pack with only landing two scoreable fish over 12 inches, and, and, that, and that's fine. I didn't have high expectations going into this tournament, driving all the way down south fishing a lake we had never fished. I'm honestly the most upset about missing that footage of the biggest catch, or would, would have been catch. It was just, it was epic. But do look forward to the next kayak tournament on Lake Worth, because that one, total 180. We cash a check. It's sick, man. Third kayak tournament ever. Still no graphs. We gotta get those. Y'all loved the first video. Please let me know what you think after we've ran two of these kayak tournament vids. Do you want to see more? I might even hit some bank tournaments more accessible to more of our following, right? Anyone can hit the bank. I've also got some footage of my first ever tournament on a bass boat. It's unreleased. Yes. <gasps> Fish on. Fish on. Third cast. And uh, yeah, so we have that in the works. Should we unleash the bass boat tournament footage? Or do you hate the tournament videos? What do you want to see more of? Just please let us know down in the comments if you've ma even made it this far into the video. <laughs> but overall, just so thrilled with how much we're learning doing these tournaments. And you, you get to chop it up with the whole gang afterwards. I mean, you're, ch you're talking to 30 other anglers that were out there catching fish on baits that weren't working for you and vice versa. I mean, I threw the whole tackle box out there, by the way. Like, I didn't want to make this a 45 minute video of just giving tips on every bait I'm throwing and not catching fish on, but I threw the swim baits big and small, underspins, just straight up by itself. I threw the top waters, different top waters we tied on, and just went back to that Usuri one knocker. I threw the, uh, what did I, I broke out the drop shot. I mean, I was fishing it off of some main points where those fish should have been holding. To be honest, for me, there was a phenomenal bite in the morning and great opportunity. We just kind of fumbled the bag there, and then, of course, when we started to slow it down, those bites were just few and far between, and what we did land was not the size we needed. I don't need to recap this. Y'all just watch the video. Anyways, y'all subscribe for more content. Lake Waco in the books, boys. Get psyched for the next one. We got a whole lot of diversified content headed your way, so we'll catch y'all later. Peace.